Welcome to this 10 minute start. Welcome to this 10 minute lightning talk RD kit Cheminformatics Neo4j integration presented it, presented by Evgene Sorokin and you can start now Evgene Okay thank you uh, today I present you RD kit Neo4j integration project I worked on this project during Google Summer of Code 2019 with three mentors from BASF, RDKit, and Neo4j. What is the motivation of this project? The idea is to construct a bridge between Neo4j and RDKit library tool. Why? Um, actually, knowledge graph are usually the best uh, data representation available. So the problem, the only problem is that Neo4j currently does not support chemical structures. And the solution is RDKit. RDKit is a open source library tool worldwide used by chemists that can deal with chemical structures. Actually, it already has proven its value in conjunction with Postgres. Yes, it already works. Uh, it is already possible to work the same way with chemical structures in Postgres, but now we are able to do it in Neo4j. Chemical structure representation. Uh, one important topic point, we are not interested in dissolving atom, atoms and bonds as nodes and relations in the graph. We wish to use available structures available structure representations as node properties. For example, there are two main approaches, smiles format and mole format. Smiles format is basically a is two-dimensional representation of your molecule. It will be used uh, by ex in exact search, while mole format contains more information. It's three-dimensional description of your molecule. It determines position uh, coordinates of your specific atoms, Type of types of bonds and other information. Those advantages will be useful during substructure search. Actually, um, mole format will be useful for you to deal with molecules that do have chirality property. Okay, good. Next, on this slide, I represent you a benzene ring and in another chemical structure. Benzene. Okay, good. And another chemical structure. Actually, it has a very complex name, but I can name it uh, in terms of its properties. Of its properties, it contains two symmetrically connected phenylacetic acids, which is just basically a benzene ring and acetic acid residue. From this example, you can understand that chemical structures consist of each other. This important uh, point can be useful during uh, substructure search. Good. The requirements of this project is to implement functionality for exact search, find me a molecule benzene, for example, and the chemical substructure search, file, uh, find me all candidates that contain benzene ring. In terms of graph, uh, it is it can be used as an entry, an entry point into a graph, and a substructure search can be a condition for graph traversal. It will filter our paths, but we'll talk about it later. Good. How it was implemented, storage in a graph. Whenever a chemist adds a new node with labels chemical structure, an RDKit event handler catches it and adds new, a list of new properties. The most important are canonical smiles, fingerprint, which is FIP, and MDL mall. Good. Exact search. Exact search is pretty simple. It is just a match of two strings, two smiles. But there is one issue. The same chemical structure may have uh, several smiles. They all valid, but oh, it is complex uh, to check all of them. We have to define a canonical smiles and based on canonical smiles, we will apply an exact search. Good. The next is substructure search. It is a bit more complex. 
First of all, I have to define what is a chemical fingerprint. You can think about chemical fingerprint as a hash function that takes your chemical um, molecule and transforms it into a collection of, uh, of properties. For example, amount of benzene rings, presence of double benzene ring, etc. <clears throat> there are two representations of fingerprints, bit vectors and count-based fingerprints. The difference is that the last uh, count occurrences of specific properties. Good. The next, how, how can we apply substructure search? How can we use it? In order to use it, we have to make some pre-processing. First of all, we transform our molecule into a bit vector. Later, positive index, indexes of positive bits are concatenated into a string. This string represents us a text for a full, full text index. Good. With this text, we can uh, this text can be <coughs> for 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 a full text. Our notes will be just a list of specific numbers. Those numbers are words, and we can just ask find. Find me a text that contains four, six, and eight, for example. Good. In this case, we'll find the first and the second. Um, before moving further to applications, we'll I have to define chemical reactions relationships. In this case, we have uh, two types of nodes: reaction node and the chemical structure. Chemical uh, reaction no uh, reactions do contain ingredients and of course products okay good the next slide looks pretty scary but let me explain first of all i'm a chemist that is interested in creating a final product it is defined as an entry point into our graph and i wish to find my base ingredients in order to create it using a POC plugin i am able to expand my path traverse the graph backwards and whenever uh, whenever i find an intermediate i can apply my mm, condition for example i'm interested only in base products which do contain specific substructure uh, substructure it is done through our call to uh, substructure is in in this case it tells does this chemical structure contain a property which is defined by smiles good and the end is this is great in the end you will have a subgraph that tells you a product a final product and your base ingredients with intermediates good actually that is all uh, those are resources our project our ticket and no forgery good and hunger guys <coughs> Sorry, Hunger Games. If anybody has any questions for him, just type them in the chat area. Um, Chris, if I understand your question properly, bit vectors are not able to differentiate multiple identical units, but count-based fingerprints are able. In our case, we use only bit vectors. Okay, I think I, we've given everybody enough time. Thank you, Gina, for presenting to us today. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.